What is going on everyone? This is King Immortal again bringing you another video. And this time around, I haven't been posting the FA series tournaments that we've been having every single weekend on Saturdays, 12 p.m. PST. So I wanted to take the opportunity to bring this to you all. Now I'm going to be posting the first FFA series that we hosted two weeks back. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Um I will not be posting the whole thing at once because it's going to be about 30 minutes worth of matches. So I'm going to be explaining the map. But if you guys want me to maybe just put the whole video on one go because you don't want to wait, I, I can think about doing it. But yeah, let me let me know what you think. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I'm the one doing casting and Rush Leagues. Uh, LaVeb is the one that is doing all the back and lifting and the work. So if you guys would like to participate in any of these tournaments, also make sure to look at the description below and check out the Discord channel. And we'll see you soon. Let's go! I hope you guys are excited for this first match in the tournament. We're going to be playing in Cuenca del Piñata. First KOs to win. All right, we're gonna start looking at Kyoto Lexi for being the AE rodeo. Since we got AE in the in the top of the leaderboard for clubs, we're gonna start by watching this person. We're gonna start by watching rodeo here. We got a Leta hiding. She's not yet moving. There is no action. Ah, uh, she's uh okay. She's playing this march. She's waiting for her ult. But we see Kyo X to cause superb, super winner. And now they're gonna be engaging Kyo X and rodeo. Rodeo taking the. It's a kill there. Uh, it seems like kill X was not moving that much. So now let's go ahead and take a look at Super Winner playing with Shell. Oh, we got a. Okay. We got a letter. Oh, nice takedown by Rodeo. Super Winner seemed to. Uh, seemed to get lost there. He, he looks like he couldn't find Rodeo. Let's move this and let's go ahead and look at kill X and see what he's up to. Kyolex is gonna is about to engage Rodeo here in a second. Uh, he looks like he's gonna be taken down. He does engage with his ability. He's about to take down Alera, it looks like. Alera runs away and gets taken down by Super Winner. Super Winner is sitting that kill. Kyolex is about to get their party and Rodeo taking the kill again. Rodeo taking a double kill and has a very decent lead on. Kill Alex Super Winner with 5 kills. If you guys have a favorite player, make sure to comment down below in the chat. Who do you think will win? Right now, it seems like Rodeo is going to be taking the win, but you never know. Super Winner only needs 3 kills. But since this is a, a small lobby, it will take a lot more to catch up to the first place than if it were a 6 player lobby. Super Beaner taking a very good kill there and kill Lex getting the third party. Kill Lex about to engage Rodeo here. He does, he does hit his attack. Oh, double. All he needs is one burst and he will get the kill. But Super Beaner seems to get the third party and he's about to take out Rodeo and he does take out Rodeo. Very good, very exciting match so far. Rodeo taking the kill again, and Super Beaner is seems like he's the closest player that we can that may win this this first place against Rodeo. Let's take a look at Rodeo again. Let's see how he's a letter game style is. He seems to be jumping quite a bit, so we'll check it out. Good kill on the kill. Okay, Super Beaner coming in. Is he gonna take it? He took it! Super Beaner does, is not leaving behind. He wants that first place. He wants it. Remember guys, only the first place will go and play in the last round. We are playing 5 rounds in total. So the winner of each match will go ahead and play the last one. It looks like Rodeo is the competitive player for now. 
Oh, what a dodge by Super Meteor. He's about to escape, but Rodio doesn't let him escape. Rodio is not letting anyone out of his sights. Super Meteor should spawn. I think he's gonna get the third party here. Who is he gonna go for? He has two options. It looks like he's going for kill first. And is he gonna take it? He used his ult. He used his teleport. He took the kill. Is he gonna kill Rodio though? He doesn't know that Rodio is weak. And Rodio knows it too. Now Rodio with full health is gonna come back and Super Winner needs this match. He needs this win. And Kill Alex is coming back. He wants a third party. It looks like he's about to be taken down by Super Winner again. And he does. Uh Rodio playing the smart there by moving out of the game. By moving out of the match and then coming back for the third party. Rodio with four kills from winning this this round. Super Winner needs to escape from Rodeo, it looks like. Is he doing that? They're gonna be doing the 1v1 with Kill X in the back. Kill X, let's see what he decides to do. I mean, he's the last place right now, so he needs to decide where he wants to perhaps help Rodeo win or help Super Winner win. And it looks like he is going to miss his two, sh his two shots there, and he will get taken down. Rodeo and Super Winner at it again one more time. Super Beaner playing very smart by playing that behind that rock and then kill Lex coming. It does look like Rodeo went straight for kill. X, he wanted that kill. He left Super Beaner behind, but Super Beaner does want to get Rodeo down and he does take him down. Super Beaner does not want to lose, however, Rodeo only needs two more kills. And it looks like he will take these two kills right now. There we go. We got Rodeo. One more. Super Winner took that kill from Rodeo. He was he managed to kill Kill X before Rodeo did. Rodeo is one kill away from winning this game. And then we got Kill X right in from him. And I think this is who Oh Kill Kill X took him out. Yeah. Super Winner. You still got a chance, but it is a difficult chance. We got Super Winner taking out Kill X and he managed to teleport and get away from Aldelera. But however, it looks like. Oh, he's so close to losing this one. Super Winner does not want to. Kill X taking the third party from behind. Kill X also wants it and him taking a double kill. That. Ladies and gentlemen, that ruined Super Winner's strat. If he would have gotten those two kills, he would have been so close. Does look at Rodeo is gonna be taken down again or is he gonna escape? He might escape this game. Just so he gets the last kill against one of these players. The timer is about to go out. Seven seconds. There is no more opportunity for Super Winner to reach Rodeo. So we have a winner. Good job, Rodeo. That was a good match. Guys, make sure to drop in the chat who do you think is going to be the winner of this game. All right, we are playing in Gym Park. This is a more leveled map, so we should expect to see more encounters and then no, possibly not as many third parties as we did in Cuenca del Piñata. This place is fascinating. I see that the characters of choice have been Gloria. <laughs> Amen with that Gloria kill. Gloria is so devastating. She can pick out anyone. And I think for this map, she picked a very good character. Gloria taking an easy kill against that Ruby, but we got Skatey coming in. She wants to take it, but it looks like Gloria's gonna take it again. And she, just like that, she takes three easy kills. Let's go ahead and look at Ruby's point of view and see how she will do in this game. One thing we have to take into consideration too is that because we only have three players in the map, they may not find each other as much, especially if um, they are camping. Sometimes they do camp in this map more than others because there are so many walls, there are so many corners, there are so many obstacles that you can use to your advantage. As we can see here, Deadpool is just trying to find one person and 
We got the other people just going in circles trying to find and we got an engagement now. Deadpool taking the win there, but however Gloria is going to take the KO, it looks like. Amen is taking a very good lead of four four KOs and it looks like that's a fifth and it looks like Amen is going to take the fifth kill now. She hasn't died yet. And they're going to be engaging again. Sorry, you're trapped. Oh, oh, that was close. That was close. It, it looked like Samper Sin was going to take the double kill there, but she only managed to kill one person. Kill. That is devastating. That is Give devastating. The way that Gloria can kill people from that far away. The time to kill is that two seconds. That, that is way too. That is way too low for a time to kill. Who do you guys think is gonna win though? We got some people saying in the chat that Gloria is gonna take this win. I mean, it makes more sense than not because she is winning seven right now and she's gonna take out down this skate. And there is no chance for this Skady to even use her ult. They are looking around. It seems that Gloria just saw that two players were gonna be right in front of her, and thus she does take the double kill. This match, it's um, it's very, very one-sided. Uh, we're gonna take a look here at Sam Persina and see how she is playing because she does have no kills. She's at zero points right now and she gets taken down by Amen 24-12 one more time. And we see Deadpool is about to engage. And Deadpool does take the kill. Amen goes down. Was that the first time, second time? I could not notice because I we're only seeing Amen get kills all over. That is right, the three attack at this point. When you are the last place, you should be you should be wanting to help Deadpool. You should be wanting to help the uh, Skatey or the Ruby. You guys should team up and go against the Gloria because you know, as you guys may know, only the first place will go on to the fifth round. So if you lose, there's no point. There's there's no point for you to keep playing. This is the other part of the game that it I think the Gloria has an advantage on. Sorry. I do believe that Gloria is uh, is getting some audio cues because she was able to hear where the Ruby was walking towards. I think that is one of the advantages this Gloria or this player, Amen, is taking to his advantage. Gloria is about to take the other kill from behind. Ruby has no options but to to put her shield up but just, she does to get taken down this game is very very one-sided everyone yeah. so we see gloria here if you guys have noticed she is taking this corner of the map and she is not really moving from this corner this is her spot. She's just letting people come to her. I do believe that this Ruby and this is Katie, if they would be fighting a different part of the map and would have let the Gloria just be on her corner, they could have gotten a, a better chance of winning this game. Especially that pool. And that and we got Sampersin. Sampersin just took his first kill of the game. However, it does look like Gloria is gonna take him down. Sampersin does not seem to notice that Gloria is behind him. And he's gonna take the kill! He took the kill! Yo, two kills for Samper! Let's go! Come on, you got this! Deadpool with the shields up. I think he's gonna take this win. Deadpool taking that win with his shields. But Gloria is very close to him. And he knows it. He knows it. The shield gets destroyed and it looks like Gloria is about to... Oh! <laughs> Ivan was definitely fighting for that last for that last kill. That didn't come very easily. Hey guys, it's me again, King Immortal. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the uh, the first part of the FFA series number one. 
if you did make it all the way here make sure to comment down in the video we made it uh, so that i can see if you also would like to see this uh these videos live these videos well this tournament does happen on saturdays at 12 p.m pst although sometimes it might be at 10 a.m pst other than that i do a stream on twitch weekly thursdays fridays and saturdays so if you have some time and you want to drop by and say hello i would appreciate you and seeing you there uh, make sure she's still dropping a chat when you go to twitch that you came from youtube so that i know uh, who you are well uh, until next video uh, thank you for watching